if you do a balance of both, then you have the benefits of both. What this really means is, faking the teeth, making it, the benefits of this is, it's basically like having a sparring partner or sitting around reading about boxing. Oh, so my mom always told me, if you act like a gangster, people are gonna treat you like a gangster, and you're gonna end up getting hurt. Now, if you take that same premise, you put the world around you in a certain mindset, they're gonna treat you a certain way. Just like I said in my alpha male videos, if you act like a alpha male. People are going to respond to you as if you are really alpha male if you fake it enough. They're going to put you in certain situations. They're going to ask you certain things. They're going to test you in certain ways. Obstacles are going to come to you. Alpha male obstacles. And eventually, it's going to be to the point where you don't have to fake certain things. Because you've been tested and you've been tested and you've been fucking hurt. Enough, just like a muscle, it's like a, it's like a micro fracture in your knuckle or your legs for all my martial artists out there. Just like a fucking micro fracture. The universe, people are going to micro fracture the shit out of you when you try to pretend like you're something you're not for the purpose of any purpose. <laughs> So, that is one way. You're going to be grinded down, stretched out, fucking bent, all kind of shit, until whatever you want comes happen. So, you want to act like a fucking millionaire? People are going to grill you, ask you what you do, blah, blah, blah. You got to fucking play the fake-ass philanthropist, or you could keep it real. Say, hey, I work at McDonald's, but this and this and that. But the ultimate goal is to fake it so well that people think that you are an alpha male or whatever the fuck it is you want to be. Everybody says, oh, I don't give a fuck what people say. You don't give a fuck what people say. That's awesome. But when you're trying to change yourself, I'm paranoid. I smoked a little weed. When you try to change yourself into something else, Let's say a ladies' man. Say you want to be somebody who gets more girls. You know what I mean? It's somebody who attracts more women in their life. Just like I was talking to the homie. Everything that men do is fueled. Everything that humans do is fueled by their sexuality and their need to procreate. All right? Mostly. Like 70% of shit. So, what you do in that situation is, two heads are better than one. If enough people think that you get all these females, and you don't have to fucking look around for a girl, and you're chill, and you're being your awesome self, females are going to respond to that in a certain way, just like everything else does, just like money does, just like manage, hiring managers do. They see that, hey, I kind of want it, but if I don't get it, I'm not going to die. I'm not desperate. I'm not needy. I'm still here and functional, and I can give you what you need. But I already have it, so it's okay if I don't have it. That's going to work a lot better in your favor. If enough people think something about you, and you don't conflict and don't resist and you go with the flow with that idea and with those energies it will become you it has no choice if you for example if you don't necessarily think that you're an alcoholic <laughs> and 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 the only time that people see you is when you're drinking or drunk 
Yeah, and that's because they really only see you on the weekends or some shit, and they see you hard as fuck. Enough of those thoughts are gonna come to you to form habits. That's what I taught you about thoughts. Thoughts come from other people and off of objects and from from the universe. So if people's thoughts about your drinking habits affect you, and they, if they come to you and you let them affect you, you will just start drinking more and you will start exhibiting more symptoms of alcoholism. If you have for one second, damn. If you do like, I mean, I'm not saying this is normal, but I've heard a lot of people say, okay, yeah, after I go to the club or whatever, the next day I feel fucking funny. So I drink a beer, blah, 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 get rid of my funniness. Not a big deal. But that shit's going to become you, though, eventually. If enough people think you get a lot of women, they start treating you like you get a lot of women. And when you're gone sleeping, they keep thinking, damn, that nigga gets a lot of bitches. Then, you start brushing your teeth like you get a lot of women. You start doing your hair like you get a lot of women. You start dressing like you get a lot of women. Things just happen to you chemically, hormonally, when around these people that convince you, that convince your body and your reality that this is true. All right? People think you have money. They want to give you some money. Females think you get females. Then you get a lot of females. All right? This is not like some... This is definitely some hermetic law Kabbalion shit. Definitely look those two things up. The Kabbalion, K-A-B-L-I-O-N. That is a universal law. And I actually have a song coming out called Namaste about these very principles... Coming out on December 22nd or 23rd. I haven't decided yet. Maybe the 21st or the 24th. Whatever the fuck I feel like doing. Maybe Christmas. I should release a Christmas. Let me know when you want to hear that though. But that's all that it is, man. Just mix that study, the research, your own theories. Sit at home. Brainwash the shit out yourself. Program yourself. And go outside and be the best fucking actor, liar, faker, motherfucker. I wouldn't say don't blatantly lie. Don't tell people that you're a millionaire, that you have one million and one dollars in your bank. But definitely say somebody says something like, so what do you do? If you're an artist, say I'm a walking millionaire. That's what I do. I help the people. I create. What do you do to help the people? And somebody says, bro, you look like you got a lot of women, which is some people say that. Dudes, if you carry yourself right and you do certain things, a female even say that shit to you sometimes. But somebody walks up to you, bro, I don't even know you, but you, you look like you get a lot of women. You say, I mean, you know, I try. Something like that. They say, where the, where the girls at, bro? Man, all my girls at work or I'm working on it. Something like that, you know. Just have that response. Another thing is, last thing. I'm going to close it down onto this. Before you look for something, I think that that inner work that homework is is very important because you need to know what sacrifices may have to be made. You have to know what information needs to be taken in. You have to know what may happen if you start doing certain things new. People think you have a lot of females, then they might get jealous and want to hurt you. If people think that you're a millionaire, then they might get jealous and want to hurt you. If people think that you're an alpha male, they might get beta and start shaking and be all scared and backed into a corner emotionally and just want to hurt you. But on the good side, you know, if you pretend like an alpha male, you might become the alpha male in that situation in the room 
and have availability to the rest of the women in the room. If people think that you have availability to the rest of the women in the room, one female thinks that you have these characteristics that other females want, uh, natural selection. If she thinks that you're somebody that other women want, she automatically wants you. If, if people think that you have money and you're cool, they won't think that you spending that little twenty dollars. Well, I don't even want this man to pull his wallet out. I don't even want to see all those hundreds in his wallet. So, I'm gonna slip this little twenty out my shit and pay for his meal, and. Hopefully he becomes my friend and then I can show him, you know, all kind of cool stuff that you can do with spending less than $20. So he thinks I'm a stand-up guy or a real nigga for paying for his meal because I like him because I know he has money like that. I don't want to see his wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and pay for this. We're gonna, I'm going to get his number, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to network and do some business because I think he's a millionaire and I don't want to be embarrassed by his wallet. All right, so... Research the consequences, research everything, the outcomes, the positives, the negatives. Know that there's going to be tests. If you can somehow figure out a way to find out these specific tests, what's, what happens if I pretend like I have women for real and I dress like it? What, you know, these possible outcomes to whatever you want, it'll work a lot better in your favor because there will be no surprises. And surprises is not always a pro uh, the surprises are not always a part of the test, brother. It doesn't have to be. You can definitely always cheat. Knowing is is better than anything, bro. Better to be safe than to be sorry. So that's it, man. It's Aaron Motherfucking Moses. We the Bang TV. Shout out to everybody in the whole world. Fake it till you make it. Do that research. Study. Sit at home. Program yourself. Write affirmations on fucking cue cards. Put them all over your house. Get posters with this shit. And, and, and thrive, bro. Fuck survive and thrive. And it's the lesson that we need to learn. All right? Peace.